Hi and welcome to another episode of Reviewed on Dante TV. So recently I've got a couple of requests to actually review my Sigma F1.4 lens which I've been using for over a year now. Clearly I'm not going to show you guys an unboxing for obvious reasons. I do wish I actually filmed one back in the days. But I didn't. So I got it around May last year and I've never put it down. I pretty much don't use any other lenses anymore. Having the option of setting the aperture to 1.4 is a massive positive. Let me just break this down for you guys. For those who don't know, having a lower numbered F value on your lens means that your aperture is bigger. It's a little confusing but what that actually means is you are able to take better photos and videos in lower lighting situations without bumping up the ISO and losing some of the quality. Usually, setting your F value to 2.8 will be perfect for daily situations. Here's a couple of photos I shot with my Sigma lens. Just remember that most of these are featured on my website which is www.thedante.com The link will be of course in the description below. Just check them out and let me know what you think. The 30mm focal distance on an APS-C or crop sensor DSLR is similar if not exactly the same as having a 50mm lens with a CMOS or full frame DSLR. What you have to understand it doesn't really work with full frame DSLRs as there will be discolorations in the corners of your pictures or vignetting which people do like so just be cautious just letting you guys know that. It comes with a lens hood but I tend to not use it as it kind of does get in the way. Bokeh in the lower levels is quite nice. Check out my tutorial on heart shaped bokeh for those who don't know what bokeh is. I have a link somewhere around the screen. <laughs> Focusing is actually amazingly quiet. If you if you have if I have to nitpick and pick a downside, I'll have to say sometimes the images can be a bit soft and focusing not so accurate. But I think with a bit of experience you'll be able to overcome those. Also, the minimum focal length is about 40 centimeters, so you can't get macro photos unless you purchase a close-up filter or similar which I will be reviewing really soon. I would recommend this to actually anyone who wants a lens that gets you great value for money. It's fairly cheap, just, just eBay it and check it out for yourself. You can get great low light shots, it's perfect for videos. I use it for 90% of Dante TV videos. Hopefully this short review has helped you guys decide whether or not you want to purchase the Sigma 30mm 1.4. If you have any questions, please please feel free to ask and if you're a bit too shy, just inbox me, tweet me. The links of course are in the description. So that's all for today's episode and until next time, please subscribe.